has the features. Um, this is a hair update. So, I now have this hair for four days. I believe four days. Seems like after the shower today, a lot of the color faded out more. So I think it's a lot lighter. I've been brushing it for about 10 minutes though. Just cause trying to get the tangled out. It's been wet, but. I'm wearing my bike guard right now. So. This is three time bleached. The first time completely solid with, hold on. Okay, so this is three time bleached. The first time bleaching was a 40 developer and uh, Argon, Argon, Argon um, uh, developer was the brand at volume 40 and with quick blue bleach. All times I use quick blue bleach and all times I use the 40 developer. Um, the first time it pulled out most of the color, especially up in here, you can kind of see. Um, the second bleaching pulled out the rest of the green that was underneath, because I had um, multiple layers. It was green on underneath and dark on top. The third bleaching, so the first two were kind of the same exact way. The third bleaching, what I did is I added a little bit of conditioner into the bleaching, mixed it up really good, and put it on. Also, each time the bleach was left in for 20 minutes, um, and that was five days ago. So, it took a lot to get into this color, and as you can see, it still doesn't really want to take out all the color. Um, when I was showering, it was coming out like, like when the water hit it, it looked so deep, like my red was coming back, and I hate when that happened. And I think there are points where you can kind of see the red color. Just because my natural red is really hard to get out. I've always had to bleach it really hard. Quick Blue is my favorite brand to, brand to use. Usually the best to get the color out. And then I used uh, Ocean Breeze uh, Dollar Tree shampoo and conditioner today. After my bleaching, because it was a three-day bleaching is what I No, it was a two-day bleaching. Two-day bleaching. I did the first bleaching, let it sit, and then I went ahead and did the second bleaching after doing a hair mask. So I did the next bleaching the next day. Then, pretty much after I rinsed out that bleaching, I let it dry out, and then I did the conditioner bleaching at that point. After that, what I did is I put on an overnight hair mask, rinsed that out, and uh, let it just be itself for about four days. And then I took the shower today, and I'm actually very impressed. Yeah, of course it's frizzy. You can see a lot of frizziness and stuff like that, but, but for, for being three times bleached at 40 developer, I'm actually very impressed and very proud of it. It's a lot healthier than I was thinking it was going to end up being, which makes me very happy. I did not cut anything, anything like that. It didn't break. Um, I pulled a little bit hard, but this happens even when I don't bleach, so that's my brushing, which is not that bad when it comes to hair. So, just following a little bit of a hair routine, hair care, and again, if you guys want to actually know what kind of hair care process I do, just make do a comment below and I'm happy to share with you guys. Yeah, I think it came out pretty well. I'm not a fan of blonde, so I don't think I'll be blonde too, too long. Um, I'm planning on putting half of it going to be a lime green, and that's why I'm working so hard to get a light, and the other half is going to be like a royal purple. So, waiting to see how that goes. You can see like my red, rosy red cheeks so easy when I'm blonde. So, that's my hair update. And now I should go get back to work. So, bye. Mm, sorry. A little pepper got caught in my teeth. Sorry about that, guys.